You can download the apps in the video for free, link in the description. Or a double jump system that allows for a configurable number of extra jumps. Go to your player script. Inside, we will add one constant and one variable. A constant is the same as a variable, but you can't change its value during runtime. Max jumps is the amount of jumps we allow the player to do. You can choose to instead make this a variable if you want to change its value during gameplay. Jumps done will keep track of the amount of jumps we have done so far. This is important as it will ensure that we don't exceed the maximum number of allowed jumps. Inside the built-in physics process function, if you have a simple jump code like this, remove it. We will then check if we are on the floor. If so, then we reset the number of jumps done to zero. Optionally, you can add an else, then check if jump done is equal to zero, then increase it by one. This makes sure that if the player falls off the ground, they will only have one jump, not the regular two, which includes the jump off the ground and in the air. Although you don't need to add this as it will depend on you and your game. We will then check for the jump input and that the amount of jumps done is less than the max amount of jumps and that velocity.y is more than or equal to zero, meaning that the player is either on the ground or falling. Then we run the basic jump code and finally we increase the amount of jumps done by one. Now you have a double jump system with a configurable amount of jumps that you can add to any of your 2D platformer games and don't forget that you can share the project files, link in the description.